Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be diving straight into the Bitcoin chart here together going over the absolutely fabulous rise to the upside here on the Bitcoin chart and some of the really key levels to be aware of right now in terms of support and resistance and also the style that this move has gone to the upside. we got to go through that together ladies and gentlemen. It's been a special week, it really has. Um, so let's just dive into the charts together and, and share this happiness of Obviously, all starting back from the Champions live stream last week, where obviously we were going through this sort of idea where we were looking for the run of thirty thousand dollars, and well, the, and then a pump off of the back of the uh, run of thirty thousand dollars, and it's all kind of went exactly as predicted in that regards. So run thirty k, look for the big pump to the upside. And when we look at how this has really played out, we ran $30,000. We then we had obviously these two key levels, um, so to speak, of resistance. If we come down to the 15 minute chart, very quickly review this for you. Obviously, we had our first key resistance level, which was actually coming in at these highs, which was obviously around, let's just say, 32,800. And that was obviously the point of control of the range. Yeah? So the point of control of the range is a big level on the chart when you're below it it's obviously resistance when you're above it it's obviously support and we were held down by that point of control of the range for actually two out you know basically two days okay before breaking okay if you come down onto a lower term time frame you will obviously see that we clearly break above the point of control off of this you know do you call this an ascending triangle it's kind of you had the flat resistance which was obviously your first touch of it you had a second touch of it but you're just building these higher lows higher lows higher lows higher lows and then you break through it so it's not a picture perfect ascending triangle but it just shows you the buying pressure that's on the chart you're not getting these heavy retracements and you're obviously grinding then up against resistance in a bullish fashion no you're coming from the impulse consolidation above no sorry uh, impulse <laughs> consolidation below resistance and then you break through it because you know essentially there's too much buying pressure on the chart and then you had a second layer of resistance which then came in obviously over the weekend and that was 34800 that held you down for you know about you know one or you know one day just over a day before breaking through last night really bringing us up to where we are right now and there's one thing that I really need you to remember. Why Why did we move up so quickly in such an incredibly fast manner like we were expecting? And myself, the way that I viewed this was I posted this on Twitter and I'm totally serious about this. Um, and it was, I cannot wait till tonight. Obviously, this was posted earlier in the day. I cannot wait till tonight or tomorrow, which is now today. And everybody wanting to short the Bitcoin CME gap and getting absolutely wrecked. So we have to have, you know, why? So I can answer you fairly safely. Why was this move up so swift? And it really was a short squeeze. This was a most perfect short squeeze. And now for you to get into my head a little bit. Uh, basically, obviously, as you saw from that post, I was all about the CME gap. And this is the gap that lots of people, when they saw this last night, I was under the impression that people are going to be thinking to themselves, Bitcoin has moved up over the weekend. That's bearish. Bitcoin has a CME gap. That's bearish. That should feel. Also, just the fact I'm going to play. Uh, obviously, I posted that over on Twitter, but obviously, I expanded much more heavily in terms of uh, you know the analysis on the Champions live stream that I done last night again, where I continued with my bullish bias. By the way, still looking for higher, and I want to just play this really quick. I think it's about ten seconds, just so you can understand why this was such an epic short squeeze. If you just listen to this a second five days, nearly six days. People are waiting for this retracement and they're just not getting it. So they are just left on the sidelines, which is painful for a lot of people. <laughs> um, so, you know, you just have to remember you have the potential of just continuously keep on doing this. And like people that are waiting for this retracement, they just don't get it. So as you heard, that was just a quick clip again from last night's Champions live stream. We still had the same chart a week going on. And, um, you know, it was this scenario. It really has been this, you know, really, really nice scenario where, well, nice if you got the long with me. <laughs> but, uh, you know, for many people, painful because, um, you know, they're waiting for the retracements. OK, they've, you know, essentially missed the low. And this is why this scenario was so bullish, because you have this scenario where people have missed out on the longs. They're waiting for the retracements. But then because they're waiting for those retracements and they've missed the long, they're very eager to short every single rise. And don't get me wrong, I actually shorted twice on this rise. I shorted the point of control and I also shorted 
uh, 34800. But that's obviously from a sculpt short. I know my bigger plan. Yeah, I know the bigger overall context, and that is the swing trade that we had, which I've obviously again mentioned several times. The swing trade is obviously the long. But I recognize there's obviously there's sculpt shorts to be had on the way up. You know, these are both two and a half uh, percent declines, equaling about five percent. But obviously. The overall context is we're expecting higher, even though you can scope short. But the way people are, you know, the way this market runs is people that have missed the long, they are actually shorting out of revenge. It's called revenge trading. People are aggressively going short because they want lower. The, the, the chart had no reason at all to go lower. This was a very bullish looking chart, very bullish chart. OK, the open interest was brilliant. Volume was brilliant. Everything about the rise was nice. Um, and obviously we came, you know, people are uh, aggressively shorting, trying to hold it for too long. You know, people are getting on the wrong side of the market. And then you obviously have this very, very, very big move up, almost 10% move up after the CME opens. And this is no coincidence, ladies and gentlemen. You went sideways uh, for the whole, you know, whole of the weekend pretty much fairly sideways. And as soon as the CME opens, you see this, there's the CME gap. You have about you know, almost an hour of sideways upon the CME open, and then the move gets very aggressive, okay? Obviously, this is then going into your Asia time zone, but it really was, um, you know, this scenario where I was thinking to, you know, this was back on the 20th, by the way, that, w you know, if or when we get this big rise in the next few days, we have to be looking not only at the open interest, but looking at the volume and the momentum of the rise, and this was key, yeah, this was absolutely key, because this is what you call strong momentum now. This is why it's so important to look at the volume and look, obviously, at the open interest, but reckon how to recognize a short squeeze. And it's clearly, well, I'll show you this very quickly, um, but it's, it's pretty obvious now. You, you just kind of add on the open interest and you can see that this move up, look at this decline in open interest, this is absolutely massive. So this was a, you know, the epitome of the final short squeeze ending here. But there was probably a few, few different heads up. You had the funding rate, which was extremely bullish. You just have the momentum of the move. I mean, when we refer to the momentum, it's just, this clearly, the chart's clearly not giving up. It's just continuous higher lows. Okay, each time grinding on your mini resistances and then obviously bringing you finally up to that $40,000. Um, you know, I just want to call this a psychological level, to be honest with you. It's a, it's a psychological level. Of course, on your scam exchange, Binance, uh, you know, it's had scam wicks all over the place, which I mean, this is why I would never trade on, on scam Nance in my life. This exchange sucks, but I'm on Bybit. So, you know, I've just got to, I'm just going to go off the data that I have. And, you know, currently we've rejected off of $40,000 resistance. So, um, again, I just think that's a psychological level. I'm not under the perspective that this is a major level per se. It's kind of just that psychological barrier. No, uh, you know, you didn't quite breach it here. And on Coinbase, which I also refer to, you haven't breached it on Coinbase, your largest, highest volume spot exchange. You have not breached it either on Bybit, the best derivatives trading exchange. So in your top two exchanges, you haven't breached 40K. Um, so that, that's what I'm basing my analysis off at the moment. So $40,000, it's a clear psychological level, but that's all it is. So I just want to repeat that. It's a psychological level of resistance, not for me a key level. Obviously, we still have the overall context of the bigger range going on here. A um, <clears throat> few things to bear in mind, of course. I don't think you want to forget about 40K. Uh, is it potential that you put in the... Oh, of course, it's a potential. It is. <laughs> of course, it's a potential. You obviously have... You have broken through some major trend lines of resistance. Obviously, this would have been one major... Oh, yeah, actually, you've... Well, you have the wick above it, but that that's obviously the, the, the last one of this range that you could say is like the trend line resistance. And that's just connecting the first high to the second high that was put in. And now you've obviously connected it along. Well, it's, it's now hit the third touch. So, yeah, you know, you've got the wick above it, <clears throat> but you've got no closes above that yet. So th I think you can be aware that this is obviously a little bit of a zone that you can start to build up here, which you can start to, you know, get more in depth. Um and look at start to look at more resistances. And I suppose what I'll say is if, if you want a free, absolutely free public live stream, smash the like on this video right now. And I will do a free public live stream. Let's see if this hits a lovely 2000 likes. 2000 likes is difficult. So you will need to absolutely smash that like button right now. Uh, if you want to do a bit more analysis with me in the time uh, for, for free on YouTube. Uh, but yeah, I think you've got to be really... <clears throat> 
you know, start to build together a bit of a case here of, um, you know, you've got the 40k psychological, you've got your trend line, um, you know, we'd have to spend a little bit of time together on a, on a live stream going through this in a little bit more in depth. Uh, but currently, it's it's pretty obvious you've got the 40k in your psychological level, I still would refer to this as. Obviously, in, in the flip side, you're now your, your, your support zones. Well, we've we done quite a bit of heavy analysis last night, but uh, really, that, you know, obviously it's quite far away because of the speed of this pump. But now you would imagine, well, not only imagine, it really should be. 35k now should be really, really big support. Uh, obviously losing that, uh, you know, you would you would definitely envision you've put in a, a bit of a medium term high here. But while we hold support, while this is still in such a short squeeze fashion, um, I think we can just continue to trade the actual overall range right now. Um yeah, personally, that's the way I would approach this. Uh, obviously not financial advice, but that's the way I would approach this. And it really is a simple case of, as we've said many times, have the plan, make the plan, trade the plan, and make absolutely insane amount of money. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's been a pretty, pretty wonderful few days right, right now. Uh, obviously, I gave that trade of the week to the public. So uh, hey... <laughs> That was pretty nice. Um, so yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, smash the likes. What I will say is I got a contenders live stream on Wednesday where we're going over Igor sessions. So it's like the perfect time. Like I'm on fire, absolutely killing the market right now, calling it left, right and center in advance. And you've also got the best education to go with it on the side. So yeah, more of this over at chartchampions.com. That's for all of the good stuff. Um, where we obviously go a lot more in depth. You get way loads of live streams every single day. You get updates. I'm actually going to do a members live stream later today. So if I do the public live stream, that will be my third video of the day. Because I'm, I'm literally going to go do a um, a members update live stream to go a bit more in depth than what I've gone here. Uh, probably in about you know a few hours. So <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to wrap this one up here. I've talked you through the you know, very short term psychological level that we have, which I do feel is fairly obvious. And that's why we've got the, you know, the pullback off that level. Now the absolutely crucial, crucial, crucial level of support, which is 35k. Obviously, we blasted through the CC, which was at 37k. But we're going to have to do I'm going to have to go a little bit more in depth. And I don't want this video to last for ages. So uh, yeah, if you want to see more, smash the likes, I'll do a live stream for you. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed obviously the trade of the week that I shared with you. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I can just say uh, it's, it's been a it's been a joy. I really hope you've enjoyed this week of trading, and it just goes to show you why it's absolutely crucial, crucial, crucial to be prepared for these type of moves. Um, because you know, I guess I learned one thing: many people will act as if they're able to celebrate this move to the upside, but what they will not let you will, will you will, you might forget is many people actually got stopped out here before the move to the upside. So although, yeah, people are going to be quick to try and let you forget that, but just remember, this is the place where the magic happened. Um, that was where the prediction was the best because this is where people got stopped out, shorted, waiting for lower, and, you know, it required a, a certain degree of skill, let's say, to accurately predict um, what was going to be happening with that run. So, yeah, we've, we've had that play out. And, um, yeah, I just hope you've enjoyed I'll catch you around in the next video. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. And of course, actually, no, there's one final thing that I need to do before I end. And as you all know what this is going to be by now, this is the disclaimer of, of course, of course, ladies and gentlemen, no financial advice. <laughs> Hope you've had a brilliant day. Enjoy. And I'll see you in the live stream. Cheers and goodbye.